Okay, so what is DevOps? We're first of all going to find out what this actual term means. DevOps is short for Development to Operations. It focuses on a collaboration between developers and other roles. Developers typically work in isolation. They can't do this anymore. We need to work in conjunction with the operations people and the QA people. We need to find out how to develop an application from start to end, from the inception all the way through to production and production support. It's about thinking about how things are going to work in the future when we're in the very beginning stages of the operations. And they also, the great importance is on automating the process. We don't want to do things manual anymore. We want everything to be fast, totally automated and reliable. Now, the whole process of DevOps is to use automation and use different tools to do the operations. There are a number of different categories of tools. Each of the categories has got its own range of tools which each do something similar but in a slightly different way. So for example, we've got tools for monitoring, we've got tools for releasing into production, configuration management, packaging the application, all sorts of uh, testing, integration and performance testing, building the application, and initially starting with the code development and unit testing. So the whole range of tools, and we'll be looking at the whole range of these tools from one end to the other. So, what are the goals of DevOps? It's about thinking about the whole system, the whole process from start to end. This involves coordinating with the teams, and involves having feedback loops from one position to another. It's also about continuous improvement. We need to improve the way we work by working well together and using the tools correctly so that we have fewer incidents in production which have costly repercussions. We also want to improve the process efficiency so that the team learns and is better and better each time. So, some important improvements are these. Reducing testing time. That doesn't mean reducing testing, it means reducing the time that the tests actually run. Try to reduce the amount of changes required. When the uh, requirements are conflicting or incomplete, we need to resolve those conflicts early on. We need to find the simplest solution to meet the requirements. It's not necessarily the optimal solution, but a best solution that works well. We need to use standard tools across the organization which integrate well together. We need to have really robust production systems which have very low maintenance costs and are very, very reliable. We also need to produce software to the highest possible quality. And to achieve this, we need to improve the performance of the individuals and the teams and how they work together. Now, part of the process of improvement is changing the way people work. We need to be, strive for clarity. We want to challenge any uncertainties in requirements. We don't want to fill in the gap which many people are tempted to do. Ask somebody who knows what the answer is before making any assumptions. Assumptions themselves are particularly difficult to deal with. We need to be sure that they are valid assumptions and that they haven't been put there for some re reason which hasn't been justified. We want simplicity and reliability. The optimal design is almost impossible but the best design is what we'd strive for. We also want to reduce risk. We need to be able to meet the requirements with the least risk path. And an important thing is to avoid gold plating. Don't put extra code in there just for the sake of it or for some potential future change which may never happen. Do the minimum to get the thing to work. And when there's an issue, find the root cause of the issue. Don't just try and fix the symptoms because the root cause is gonna come back and bite you later on. So the working practice should be constantly evolving and very iterative. So you learn something, some new technology, some new tool, you try it out, work with it. Then you think about it. Okay, did I do a good job of this? Could I do a better job of this? How could I do a better job of this? And then you learn some more to improve yourself and go round and round the loop as you improve as time goes on. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.